Okay guys, let's crack straight on. Okay, the first steps that I have in the mornings after I've cleansed and moisturised my face is to cover up the redness that I get around my nose, um, my lips and my chin area. Um, to do that I use MAC Select Cover Up. This is an NW20. Um, this is a concealer um, which I use just around the nose and mouth area. And I'm using a MAC 190 brush with a tiny small amount which I'm just putting all around my nose and mouth area. Okay, This should take away any redness that I have and even up that skin tone. Okay, keep brushing that in small motions until it's blended into the skin. Okay, it's quite a light concealer, but it offers excellent coverage, which is why I like it. Make sure it's around my nose. Another area that I suffer from problems is in my under eyes. Um, they're quite black and purple and I've used lots of different concealers and tried lots of different concealers to um, try and get rid of them. Um, the one thing that I found really works really well is a concealer by Benefit called Boing. Uh, this is in shade 02 which is kind of like their medium shade and this is industrial strength concealer. What I do is get a small amount on my finger like that and place it on top of where the blackness is. So blackness is more of a purple. Okay, and just pat that in. Be quite delicate. The skin around your eye is very thin. Tap that in and keep applying more if need be. Okay, my normal everyday skin makeup routine doesn't have any eyeshadow so I don't tend to put any primer on my eye but I do pop a little bit of this just over the top of my eyes to even up the skin tone okay I think that's all done now okay so the skin tone's been evened out around here and the bags have been hopefully <laughs> erased around my eyes now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that what I use to set my um, concealer is the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. This one is the um, Skin Finish Natural, which is in medium light, which is my skin tone. Um, it's a fantastic powder, quite pigmented to swatch, and it's very good for um, setting your foundation. I use this with a, a 182 brush, a Kabuki brush, and I just swirl it in the skin finish and then I tap it onto my hand so that all the product sinks into the bristles Okay, and then I use swirling motions starting from my chin and jawline and just swirl that this gives a little bit of coverage as well so if you're looking for something a little bit more then the skin finish natural will be perfect. Okay, just burn it up to the temples. I'm really buffing it into the skin. Okay. Get another lot on there. Sink that in. And the more you swirl, the more the product that you tapped into the bristles will come out. Just swirl that over the eye. Don't apply too much pressure around the eyes, but just enough. Okay, that's done. Okay, and that is your um, base for makeup. My everyday base and makeup. So I've used the MAC Select Cover Up around my nose and chin. 
with a foundation brush. You can use a concealer brush. A uh, concealer brush is a little bit smaller, so it does give you a bit more control if you need it. And then Benefit Boing around the eyes, applied with my finger. Make sure you clean your hands before you put your makeup on. And that's all set with a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. Using a Kabuki brush to, to really swirl and work it into your skin. Well, I hope that's helpful and giving you a few bits and tips. Take care. Big hugs.